Hey everybody, it's Abby. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be talking about a new update on my 12 Pans of Christmas project. Not too much has happened in this update. I'm hoping that there's going to be a little bit more in the next update. So, or actually the next update will be the finale because it is almost a week through December. So, uh, as usual I'm going to go through this just as I have them listed in this um, paper here just because I always forget things. <laughs> so the first item on here was the e.l.f. contour palette, the bronzer shade. So if you remember last video, I was freaking out because I hadn't noticed yet that I hit pan on it until that I was in the middle of filming that video. Um, it was just a tiny, tiny, tiny little like pin prick of pan, but now look where we are with that one. So I am calling that done. Um, I'm still using it occasionally just because I really like this palette and I can use all four shades now so I don't know where else I'm going to be able to talk about this so I'll just tell you now. Um, I Before I didn't really use this shade. It's supposed to be like a highlighter shade but really like that's not a highlighter for me but what I do with this um, I will just use bron this as bronzer then I use this as my contour. And then if I go a little bit too much, you know, with like blending the contour too far down, I'll take my powder brush and go into this lighter um, skin tone shade, I should say, and then just put that right here and then it really cleans up. I mean, not like perfect, like a perfect straight line, but it helps to clean up that if I go too much into the bronzer and I, that doesn't look too blended, but oh well. <laughs> So yeah, that I'm calling it that one done for the sake of the project, but I'm still trying to use it. It's getting a little bit more difficult now, so yep. And the next one is the Kat Von D the, the, uh, Metal Crush Eyeshadow and Thunderstruck. I'll insert a picture of where I was last time right here. And this is where it is now. I'm not 100% sure where you can see. I've been concentrating my brush kind of right here. Um, I use a fluffy eyeshadow brush, so usually this one from Sonia Kashuk just to do my highlighting with because I feel like any other brush that I have is a little big and it can kind of get the highlighter all over the place instead of just where I want it, so yeah, I may be able to hit pan. I don't know how deep the pan is on this though, I mean, it's a, there's a pretty big dip, but we'll see. Next one is the Wet n Wild Shadow in Berlay. I'll insert a picture of where I was last time. And there's where I am now. I don't think this is moving very much. And there is something that is irritating my eyes just slightly. Like it's not painful or anything, but it's just enough to be annoying throughout the day. So I don't know if it's this. I don't know if it was the mascara because the mascara was getting a little old. So today. I'm not using this and I'm not using that mascara that I think it is, so I'll see if my eyes get irritated today, then if not, it's probably my primer. But yeah, so I'm just going to halt on this one for now, just so I can figure out if it was this that was um, irritating my eyes or not, because this one is really old and they just reformulated it, so... Yeah, you know, if they reformulate a product and you got it a long time ago, it's probably pretty old, so. Yeah, I'm probably not going to finish this one. Um, I've been thinking about destashing it anyway, just because it is kind of old. And it's getting, like, really, really powdery. It's not so creamy anymore, so. Yeah. Alright, and then the next thing, I have three shadows that I wanted to hit pan on in the Kat Von D Ladybird palettes. That's what it looks like, if you haven't seen it. And... I'll insert a picture of where I was last time. Right, and there's the palette now. So I was trying to hit pan on this shade, this shade, and this shade. So I hit pan on this one. I don't remember if that was done. I, okay, I think I showed that I hit pan on this one in the last update. So. Um, I th the dip in, so there's this gray transition type shade and then the more tan one. The more tan one has a bigger dip, but telling from the this cream shade that I have pan on, the pans in this is extremely deep, so 
I mean, just from looking at it like from an angle, it looks like I may be able to hit pan on this tan one, but definitely probably not the gray one just because I use the tan one more. But I've been trying to mix them lately to do my transition with just so I can kind of use them up a little more faster. But yeah, we'll see where that one goes. I'm hoping to gradually pan this palette over the next year. I know I, I still have my Shanax So palette that I'm trying to pan next year too, so that one doesn't have as many... Um, matte shades as this one, so I'll probably be using them kind of together. That's what I've been doing anyways. But, yeah, I'm just... I tried to pan this one all at once, and it just wasn't working, so, like, maybe picking a couple shades here and there to try to at least hit pan on, it's working out a lot better for me. Right, the next thing is this Pacifica Lipstick in Rebel Sol. So, I... Let me mark this real quick. So... It's hard to like hold the thing up and show it, so I'm gonna just here's where um, that was. So I have the intro, the first update, and then this update, and then this little dot here is where my goal is. I figure that's about half of the product. Um, so if you don't remember from the first video, there's eight products that I want to hit pan on or use half of, and then the last four are just ones that I want to use up completely. So that one, I'm pretty well on track to finishing it. I haven't used it that much, I don't think, but it's a really creamy product, so it's kind of going faster than I thought. So we'll see how that one turns out. Then the next thing is this Jeffree Star Lip Scrub in the Mojito. I'll insert a picture of where I was last time. And there's where I am now. It's With my nails, it's really hard to dig into it now, so what I've been doing um, this is probably not sanitary, but whatever you do, whatever you, you're comfortable with. But I just take my nail and, like, kind of, s not, like, scoop with the underside of my nail, that's gross. But, like, I just kind of stick it on the side and then pick it up and then use it <laughs> just so I can get it out. I might need to, like, get some kind of spatula or something to do that with because it's kind of gross now that I think about it. But, yeah, I've been, I don't know, I just haven't used this much lately. I've been kind of forgetting about it. So hopefully I can remember to use it. I don't think I'm going to be able to use half of it by the end, but you never know. Then now on to the stuff that I want to try to use up. So the next thing I have is this e.l.f. brow pencil. Mark this just so you can see it here real quick. Okay, and there's... this is a progress on the brow pencil. So that is really on track to being done by the finale. So, I would, But I had used my dip brow a couple times this this past you know since the last update so if I just use that pencil all the time then I should be used up no problem and the next thing was this LV lip balm in the key lime shade and that was finished up in the first update next one I don't have with me because it's in my purse but it's the Kat Von D Lolita 2 mini liquid lipstick it's still going I can tell it's running out just because when I pull out the wand it's not um, like there's not a whole lot of product that sticks to the one when I pull it out, so I'm assuming that means that it's kind of getting used up. And then the last thing is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, so I've had to have this little squeezer thingy on it just so I can, I don't have to like spend forever trying to squeeze the product down and, you know, get it out. Um, I might have a couple more weeks left of this if I use it every day. I may be in some situations where I'm going to have to use the Kat Von D Locket Foundation just so it doesn't wear off. Um, I mean, this one lasts a long time, but the Kat Von D Foundation is like cement, so I should be able to get this done, maybe. But I'm like, I don't want to use it up at the same time because it's like, I really like this foundation. It looks nice, like in, if you saw my last favorites video, I it works magically with this e.l.f. hydrating primer. So, I don't know. I mean, I put it on my Christmas list, so maybe somebody will get it for me for Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just really like this foundation, and but it's, it is old, so I, it's old. I need to use it up. <laughs> That's what I keep trying to tell myself. But yeah, so, I mean, I may or may not be done with this. I don't know. All right, so that was it for this update. And let me know what you think down below if you have any other progress on your products. Um... There's quite a few of you that have commented, and I do uh, check out your videos on this, so if you haven't commented before, just let me know. I don't really have time to go through that whole playlist, sadly, um, of people who are doing this too. I'll link that playlist down below if you're interested. 
and the other people who are doing this. Um, I've found quite a few new people to watch just through that. So, yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe so I miss any future videos and so you don't miss the finale when it comes out. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which is going to be my Panda Palette updates. So I'll see you then. Bye.